All right, here we go. Five pounds of clay. I'm going to try to make a big spherical vase. It is recycled clay, <clears throat> Laguna B. But being that it's recycled and I don't always recycle very well, there could be dry spots in here. So we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. It's also a lot softer than what I usually use. Because it was recycled, and I recycle using a wet method. Basically making it into a slurry and then drying it out and wedging it. Stayed a little wetter than I usually use, because what I usually use is straight out of the bag. It tends to be rather dry. center this one rather tall. Just helps save some of the effort from trying to get everything out of the bottom. Open up a little bit with the side of my hand, catching it with the other hand. Opening that way with large pieces, of course. This is the largest piece I've ever thrown. And it turns out. It turns out. We're going to back to that volcano shape. Because this one is so big, I'm not going to curl my finger, I'm going to curl my whole hand in here. out of the bottom. Refill my water dish because I think this piece is going to take a little more than the average. <coughs> Alright, here we go. The pedal's a little finicky. do this in several pulls. I know that Dante of Earth Nation likes to say three pulls is the limit, but I'm certainly not as skilled as he is just yet. Or his teacher. I don't know who his teacher was. So soft and deforming it. Like I said I'm not used to it being this soft. That's cool. I don't usually throw stuff this big, so it's, it's interesting. Just kind of 
collar it in whenever I can. Keep the top right. Because it's a bigger piece, I'm probably going to have to keep the walls a little thick too. You can already feel a defect in here. So if we can scrape it off. I think what I'll do is once this is bone dry, I'm going to weigh it again and see how much clay I was left with. Take the amount of clay weight when it's bone dry at about 30%, and that's really what you started with. There's always a lot of kind of a crapshoot. You know just what you're gonna get. Dry spots, pockets. <clears throat> if you recycle it right, you can mitigate a lot of that. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy guy. Somebody actually requested a vase. But I'm not going to do one of those real, real thin tops. I do want it as a base. A little wobble to it. A little dance. That's okay. All the slurry, do some last shaping. Quite a dance there. Top is right, and the bottom is right. It's actually hard to tell once you actually have the piece done. You know, people don't spin their bases very regularly. You don't sit there and spin it on a table. So if you're a little off center, once you've bellied out, it's not usually the end of the world. It's a 
character man. Probably shouldn't mess with this too much more. <clears throat> yeah. I'm happy with that. Except, <clears throat> it's soaking inside. Full of water. It's probably a little sponge on a stick. There it is. Right in front of my face, of course. Crusty, so you gotta wash it out. Alright, fun little sponge on a stick. It's basically just a, a telescoping arm. I just soaked my sock. <laughs> Maybe that's why I usually throw barefoot. But it's cold today. I don't want to wear socks. My studio, of course, is in my house. Uh, you know, in our sunroom next to my engineering office. Where I do blueprints. But it is still cold because it's a sunroom. Still quite chilly. I think we've got the majority of the water out of there. Look at this room out just a little. think? Kind of like a moon jar. Moon vase. One piece though. Most moon vases are made in two. Made in the bottom, made on the top. Collect it together. Five pounds. Maybe a little more than six inches tall. Seems short. <clears throat> six inches tall, but also seven inches wide. So six and a half by seven. And actually, with that width, I'm not surprised it's short. And if this was a straight up and down cylinder, it'd be 15 inches tall. And you got to keep it rather thick because although a sphere is rather strong once it's dry, right now there's no strength to holding the clay on the sides up, right? This just wants to collapse down. So these walls are rather thick. <clears throat> so, yeah. Hope you're all having a great evening. Christmas is coming up. Tomorrow, uh, Saturday is the solstice. Shortest day of the year. Celebrate. Making it uh, halfway, halfway around. Days are going to start getting longer. It'll make me a lot happier. So, uh, everybody have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.